Hi, I'm Angela. And I'm Beth. And we're here to tell you about fall, the new things going on here at Planning Center. Fall, the new things? Really? Yeah, because we brought them during autumn. Let's start with Planning Center People, where we introduced one of our most requested features ever. That's right, forms have arrived. You can use forms to create digital welcome cards, prayer requests, volunteer signups, and so much more. And since it's a part of People, it's completely free. There's also a new option to get an email when new notes or prayer requests are added. And if you frequently send the same email to people in a list, you can now save your message as a template. In resources, the calendar has a whole new look that makes managing your facilities more powerful than ever. See the events for each month at a glance and get a personalized view using the My Events filter. Or find any event by classifying them with tags. Then quickly find all events for any ministry, department, campus, or even event type. Services has a beta version of its homepage, the new My Schedule tab. View the schedule for all members of your household and even block out dates for your whole family at once. The calendar has a list of all the times you're assigned to and the new action buttons let anyone send an email to their team leader. Also in services, you can now use universal search to navigate to almost any page, including songs, media, people, and teams. When you're leading a group, wouldn't it be nice to know exactly how many people are coming? Well, when you send out an event reminder, you can now choose to request an RSVP. The event list shows how many responses you've received, and clicking on the event shows the individual responses. Groups has also added a communication tab to each person's profile, with a history of the messages that have been sent to them. In Planning Center Giving, we've added a brand new communication tab. Wait a second, do I hear an echo in here? That's right. Groups isn't the only app with new communication powers. In Giving, this tab shows each donor's message history and makes it easy for administrators to see what has been sent to each donor. Also in Giving, the donation list now breaks down how much money was given and refunded, notes if any donations failed, and shows the processing fees plus how much made it to the bank. There's also a new column with the processing fee for each donation. In Planning Center check-ins, when people check in, you now have options to fill one room before using a second room, or you can balance your rooms evenly. The Stations page also has a fresh new layout, with more details about the information you need and less noise from the things that you don't. In Planning Center registrations, we've improved the way that we itemize totals. Just click on any person you're registering and get a clear picture of how costs, discounts, and payments are applied to each person and the entire registration. That's a lot of great features in just a couple of months. It's kind of unbelievable. We'll work on it.